Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm pleased to announce my final Retro Pi image uh, that I will be making for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. However, since you guys have been following my channel for quite some time, uh, this is an exclusive image made for my Patreon followers. I promised this to them about a year and a half ago or so. Finally decided to finish it, and I definitely want to apologize to the Patreons because. I've had this up now for a couple of days, but there's been a lot of late breaking news, which I will get into uh, some other day, but we do have it. And um, if you guys have been following for quite some time, uh, this is the best and the last RetroPie uh, 3B plus works for the RetroPie or I'm sorry, Raspberry Pi 3B plus uh, Pi 3B plus 3B and Pi 2. So I've talked about this for quite some time. You guys have seen some of this here on the channels. But without further ado, you know what time it is. Let's get into it. This is a remake of my Extreme Supreme. Um, that was an image I made off of Supreme. Uh, what was that? I think it was called, I know it was with WDG and Regalod. I think it was uh, Supre not Supreme Beta. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. But at any rate, um, I had made an image. It got leaked to Arcade Punks back in 2018 by accident. Uh, wasn't fully pie strong. The controls and stuff were all still there. Total accident. And then, of course, I made Supreme one up, uh, which a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, that was when we first uh, debuted the terminology 5 4 aspect ratio being arcade one up ready. And so, a lot of you guys were uh, happy with that. It had a lot of new impressive scripts. So, this is the upgraded model to all of these. Uh, this, in fact, uh, tops and trumps Supreme Unified, which is what Supreme One Up was based on. And so I wanted to do something special for my Patreon subscribers. And this won't be released to the public, uh, not, you know, by me. I wanted to give you guys something, you know, entirely on your own. And this was actually highly uh, requested because I had removed my Supreme One Up build. Uh, there were some other issues with it, and uh, I think people were trying to sell it or something like that. But at any rate, um, I forgot reason why, but for the most part, I removed it from uh, Google Drive and also a couple of other places as well. But um, it was highly sought after because I could still get email notifications of people trying to download uh, the file and whatnot. But um, this is going to be available to you guys. Uh, this is a 119 gigabyte image. And so if you guys are familiar with Supreme One Up, I was really for the past few days, uh, not sure if I was gonna include some light gun functionality, but um, I do know that I do have some files in the background, but uh, you can add uh, some of the light guns on here as far as like gun for IR, AE light gun and uh, whatnot. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick recap. This is 119 gigabytes. It is a compilation of all arcade and uh, console games on here. I wasn't sure if I was just gonna leave it uh, being an arcade. And so um, you have your audio tools. 
You have all the scripts that you guys are familiar with as far as the Supreme Team is concerned. Uh, you have your controller setups here as well. And I'm not sure how the Zenmo setup uh, works with the Pi 3B Plus. I know it works fine with uh, the Pi 4. Then we have your emulation tools, retro Pi tools. Remember, there's no video marquee script on this because uh, there is no second port for that because it's totally useless. You don't need it. So you won't find that here on this particular image. Uh, you got visual tools, so you can add all in all of this other good stuff. And supposedly, I know um, one of the other updates, you could boot with USB on this. I've never tried it. I'm currently using a Samsung SD, which is a good recommendation for an SD card. Uh, this is your Raspberry video output. I know a lot of you guys have asked me about changing output ratios. So uh, this right here is what you call RK1 already. In fact, I had somebody uh, trying to tell me, no, that's not what it means. Yeah, that's what it means, RK1 already right there, uh, where you can go in, change your video output script to either uh, 76, I'm sorry, uh, you could change it to 1080p, uh, you could change it to 5.4 aspect ratio, whatever aspect ratio you really want. If you even want to hook this up to your CRT TV, uh, you could do that as well. But that's what it means about RK1 already. Uh, but right now, it's when you guys get this, it's defaulted to 720p. So I haven't changed that at all because I just wanted to leave it on there. And so um, I did go ahead and add a number of ROMs on here. Um, for you guys uh, also media artwork a lot of it is scraped however you may need to go in and kind of clean up uh, some of the arcade roms i did try to associate everything but i will admit this isn't i didn't add in all the bells and whistles as far as uh, custom music scripts and uh, splash screen videos which is something i normally do and uh, this was something i just wanted to you know get out there for you guys because it's a really unique image you won't find any other images or bills booting to three different devices uh the 3b plus the 3b and also the pi 2. so this will be pretty fun for you guys now also keep in mind that even though the games are on here uh you will have some games that are obviously affected by performance um i can't remember if i added any n64 games on here i think i did let's take a look there should be some well, it's probably too full because um, this uh, particular image, um, since it does boot from to three different devices, I didn't have enough space as I did with Supreme One Up, some others, and I do believe the base for this image is about two gigabytes. I'm sorry, not two gigabytes, but about 32 gigabytes. But uh, you do have a number of light gun games on here. You have about 51 or 57 light gun games. Um, here I also have the previous collections. You guys are familiar with this from Supreme One Up. So I haven't added anything. I just did uh, carried over my game list and my ROM sets from for you guys. So if you're familiar with some of the RK One Up titles and favorites, they are all here. And then of course I added in another title for Final Fight, so you guys have that as well. It's pretty cool. But all games, you have roughly 8,588 games in total. And then, of course, you have 102 favorites. Uh, these are just some of my hand-picked favorites that I loved throughout the number of years. Um, again, if you guys have my Extreme Supreme, or if you already have Supreme 1UP, then you are familiar with a lot of these titles. But um, just wanted to definitely thank all the Patreon subscribers who have followed me for the past uh, two years. I will say that this was kind of, uh, there was a lot of work involved with this one because normally I get really motivated to make a pie image and this one was just kind of like, all right, let me push through, you know? I wanted to make sure I had something special for you guys uh, by adding it, but um, you know, it was really time because I mean, in fact, uh, I almost forgot how difficult it was to transfer or set up a pie three image because it really almost took like, it took like a day and a half to transfer all the ROMs on here. I mean, it's really irritating. I think I probably got too comfortable with the Pi 4. But, um, you know, it's definitely some time, definitely some hassle. Uh, you also get Cody on here. Um, I can't remember which installation packages are on here. You guys can go in there and set that up as well. Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, MSX, MSX2, Neo Geo. You got some Nintendo games on here, PC. You also have your uh, Pixel Desktop as well as... Uh, your ports and you have 26 playstation games as well 
But you know, all in all, just wanted to put this out there, give you guys something you can start with to build up your own library for a Pi image. And again, this is highly sought after. In fact, I mean, I think I probably get like 20 messages or 20 email notifications a day from people trying to access an old link on my Google Drive that is no longer available. But um, I had no idea that Pi 3B Plus images were in such high demand. But uh, this should be fun. You guys can put this in an arcade cabinet. And um, before I forget, this also does have an attract mode as well uh, that you can switch over to. I didn't touch that, so if you guys have seen all of my previous videos, please, please, please check out the playlist if you have any questions as far as removing bezels, changing aspect ratio, uh, going through different settings, going through your main settings, light gun setup. I've covered all of those topics here on the channel, so you guys don't have to, you know, scour the internet looking for them but um the track mode is really nice it was uh set up by uh again all this is done by the supreme team so you guys have seen all of this work uh previously but this is in my opinion the best pie base that is out there for the 3b and the 3b plus in fact uh this was released originally i think maybe a year and a half or so ago but um yeah just getting around to it and then of course i left the uh, arcade one up theme that is on here. There are several themes on here. Let's see if we go to UI settings. I'm not going to change them right now, but I just wanted to give you guys something you can start with. In fact, let's go to, I like this thing. This is one of the original themes that I love the Blu ray theme. It's pretty nice. Gives it a second to load. Switch over. All right, and you can see the over script or the um, uh, over aspect ratio script is currently running, so everything is fitting properly on uh, the screen. But just wanted to express my gratitude for all of you in the community who have uh, submit, you know, helped me out on the journey. Uh, a lot of your the funds and donations have gone uh, to obviously projects here on the channel, which you guys have seen. But uh, this is just, you know, pretty fun. And I thought it was pretty unique. I didn't want to put out another uh, Pi 4 image. Again, I like to be properly motivated to really do something. Hasn't been a lot of things really out there. But I thought this would be really unique for you guys because it's the only one. So with that being said, this is KDK Kieldyken. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, also, if you are into fireworks, uh, please check out Keo Boom Daikin as well. I also have, uh, obviously, this is for Patreon. This is for Patreon. It's not going to my Facebook group. It's not going anywhere else. Um, exclusively for the Patreons uh, that have been following me for quite some time. And um, additionally, um, if you want to reach out to me, make sure you look me up on my personal Facebook page or my public Facebook page, rather, uh, if you need to see current updates and things that are going on. And I will give you guys an update about what's going on with the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, we have been planning for that. Obviously, you guys know there has been some delays uh, with the Pi 5, but the scripts are ready to go, ready to port everything over. So you guys will hear from me in regards to that, and I'll give you some more information as to what uh, the Pi Foundation said about it when I spoke to them uh, last time I spoke with them. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Peace out. Bye-bye.